the value of an expression depends on the value of its variable and that's what we are going to talk today in our class i have taken the theme algebra and i'm going to discuss about substitution substitution is something which helps us to find the value of the unknowns as i said the value of an expression depends on the value of its variables variable is all the alphabets that we have studied so far in algebra variable is not fixed its value is not fixed and we can only find out its value if any if we can place any number in place of any variable like if in an expression we have 3x plus 2y and we have been given values for x and y both by putting these values in the expression we can find a fixed value of that expression so let's start the topic so i've written a question on the board in which i have given the values for x and y and the expression in which i'm going to put these values is 4x plus y now i'll tell you how we can put up the values 4 will written as it is now 4 into x here there is no sign between this 4 and this variable x that means we are going to multiply by the value of x which is given in the question so you can put a multiplication sign and then write a 3 please don't write a 43 otherwise it's wrong it will be wrong and this is a common error which uh, students who just step into this uh, grade 6 and they are studying algebra they make this error instead of multiplying the two numbers they just write 3 in place of x and makes it 43 if they're doing it like this it's completely wrong here there is no sign between the two that means they are being multiplied by each other so when you are just putting up the values make sure you are putting up a multiplication sign so that you know in the next step that you have to multiply the numbers so i'll just rub off this 43 and i'll put up the value of y also which is a uh, 3 i have taken the wrong value of x it is 6 so i'll just put a 6 here now in the next step we know that this is getting multiplied so we'll multiply this 4 6 is 24 and then a plus 3 and then the final answer is 27 now here the reason of multiplying first was as you all remember board mass according to the board mass rule multiplication comes before addition that's why i have done the multiplication part first and then i have added the numbers to get the final answer that's how we put up the values in any expression if they are given to us now i have written another expression having four different terms all are unlike terms and we have been given the values of all the variables a b c and d now we are just going to put up the values in our given expression so here it is 2a square means you can now here a is having the power as square you can put the value of a in the bracket that is 3 and then you can put up the square minus 3 into b is 0 0 square although the 0 will make the entire term 0 but still we write it down we don't miss any of the step then we write a 4 in place of c i'll write down 2 and then a square minus 5 d is 1 and the square of it now let's solve it as i told you we are going to multiply there is no sign between this 2 and this bracket just put a multiplication sign now 3 square means 3 3 is 9 Minus three multiplied by a zero because zero square is a zero only. Plus four, two times two is four. Minus five and one square is one. Now, again, as for the board mass rule, you need to multiply first. So we'll multiply these. I'll just underline the parts that I'm going to multiply. Two nines is eighteen minus a zero. Plus sixteen minus five, so we are left with eighteen plus sixteen minus five. This zero doesn't have any value. Whether you add zero or subtract zero, it won't make any change in the answer. So let's remove that zero and write down the remaining numbers. Now eighteen plus sixteen is thirty-four. Minus five will give you twenty-nine, and that's what our answer is. so this is how we carry on with the substitution now i have taken another question in which again i have taken one expression and i have to 
bring out this value as 0 when I am going to place x equals to 1. So wherever there will be x, I am just going to put a 1 and I have to prove that the expression after putting the value of x as 1, I am getting a 0 at the end. So let's do it. x cube means 1 cube minus 8 bracket 1 square plus 12 into 1 you can write multiplication indirectly if you don't want to put this bracket because there is no power for this x now we'll solve it out 1 cube will remain 1 minus 8 into 1 will remain an 8 but i'm going to write it down in one more step and that's how i write it down so 1 minus 8 plus 12 and minus 5 i'm having two negative integers two negative integers and two positive integers so as I told you, it's easier to group the positive ones and to group the negative ones. So I'm going to do that. I'll write the positive ones together. So 1 plus 12 minus 8 and minus 5. 1 plus 12 is 13. Minus 8 and minus 5. Minus minus is plus. So we are going to add them up mentally. But we will write the sign of the negative because we take the sign of the bigger number. Here both the numbers are of negative sign. So we'll put a minus here. And minus 8 and minus 5 is minus 13. And hence, we are getting a 0 at the end. Hence, verified. Or hence, proved. Whenever you are proving any question, it is important to mention at the end, hence, proved. Do write it down. So, this is how we solve such questions. Now, I have taken another question in, a, in which I am going to place the value of x as a negative number. I have taken the value of x as minus 1. So let's see how we place the negative numbers in place of the variables. So this will remain a 3 in place of x. I'm going to write minus 1. Power will be 3 minus 4 into minus 1 the whole square plus 5 minus 1 and minus 6 will remain the same. Now first we need to solve the bracket. As I told you in integers if minus is there with any number and you're going to multiply it several number of times you just need to see the part if it is odd number of times coming then your answer will also be a negative one so here when you multiply minus one three times you are going to get a minus one only minus one into minus one into minus one will give you a minus one seeing the part we are finding out whether the answer is going to be a negative or positive so, it is odd in number, that means odd number of times minus sign will come, that's why we are getting a minus 1 here. Now, this will remain a minus 4. Minus 1 square will become a positive 1 because now the power is an even number. So, when the power is an even number, you will get a positive integer. Now, here 5 into minus 1 will give you a minus 5. So, put a minus here and then write a 5 and then minus 6. Now, you are getting a minus 3, minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6. Now if we see our question, all our numbers are negative. So you just need to add them up and your answer will definitely come in a minus sign. Just add them up. 4 plus 3 is 7, 7, 5, 12, 12, 6, 18. So minus 18 is our answer. That's how we solve the question when we have been given the value of x as a negative number. That's all for today. I have explained to you the substitution part. I hope it's clear to you and please subscribe my channel, keep watching, keep learning.